Hey everybody, Job. welcome to my usual me and welcome back to Myth of Empires where I'm headed over to our iron mine and I thought I'd give you a, a chance to take a look at it. I just emptied it out and I thought, well, maybe I should make a video for these folks so they can see what we're doing with this iron mine. And, you know, maybe it might help somebody out. Maybe you might get something out of it. I don't know. But right now I have to be careful because this is where bears and panthers spawn and we're going to... And we have ourselves built right on top of that spawn area. But I think today it's pigs. I think we're okay. I think today it's boar. And boar are our friends. If you don't know, they will attack the other aggressive animals. And they will uh, help take them out. So we're going to go ahead. And this is where we, where our, our iron mine is right here. Our guild iron mine. I only have my own personal here. But go ahead and just uh, get off of this right quick. I'm stuck. No! Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, I already closed it up. All right, so if you look over here, let me show you where I'm at on the map. If you look over there, there is a, uh, there's another guild over there, but there is an NPC mine right over there. You can't quite see it. Uh, ignore that coal thing. That's a ways over there. But we're right here. Um, uh, we are at an iron, uh, no, iron area right here, iron rich. And we live right here. This is where we start off in the, uh, in the forest. Um, but we went ahead and we, we put a satellite base right here and that is got our territory banner right there, which if you, if you have a, uh, if you, if you have the second territory, um, marker, you know, not banner, it's a marker, then, uh, then it's really super easy for you to, to build anything really, because you're protected all the way within the white circle. This is on a PVE server though, by the way, just so you know, it's not a PVP server, but it would pretty much be the same sort of thing on a pvp server because you're protected to a certain degree anyway so um we have what do i have here we have a furnace i say i i mean we uh, we have a furnace we have the uh architect bench we have a uh, spinning wheel we've got a uh, weapons bench of course we have the marker uh, just a few foundations just to put everything on i do have a, a large um, a large locker uh, to hold everything and we i just pulled out this all this is fresh okay so the uh, we pulled out one two three four five six seven uh eight nine hundred and twenty iron and one two three four five six hundred seven hundred six hundred or seven hundred twenty seven stone anyway um, then we also uh, pulled out some sand, we pulled out some gypsum, and some rubble. Not very much rubble though, very little. But, so that is what we pulled out uh, in a 36 hour period. Okay, so do the math, adjust it for 24 hours. Uh, let's see what we got. I just did this like a few minutes ago and then I realized I forgot to tell you some stuff. So I'm redoing this. I could have done an insert, but I felt like I should just... Um, we should just uh, show you. So I've got 11 more iron and 24 more stone. That's within the last 20 minutes, probably. Probably 20 minutes. But we have warrior food here um, for so that the, the, the warrior can keep working. And we also have, I do have a, uh, a food pot here, a large food pot that we, we keep a lot of food in. Because I want to make sure that, 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 that this guy didn't go hungry. And because if he does, then he's going to die and then we got to revive him and we don't really feel like doing that. Not a big deal if they die because you can revive them at the tent so long as you have the tent. Uh, you want to make sure you get that tent and put it down. Um, just like with your horses when they die, if you have a stable, you can revive your horses as well. So it's very, very little loss happening here when you're on the PVE server. But uh, how did we get to this point, you ask? Well, number one, if you find if you find a node, that if you find an area on the map and it says iron or it says it says um, uh, copper. It says, um, I would expect over here, it's going to say meteorite. The dowsing rod is how we actually figured out where we're going to where we're gonna put this thing. So, and really, the dowsing rod, if you look at it, it's going to actually glow red when you're really, when you're really, really close to, to a, uh, a dense iron or a, a, dent, a, a dense node. It can be iron. It can be, uh, it can be copper. Um, I'm sure it's going to be the same way with the with the other materials. Whenever you're close to a to a node, or you're close to an area a vein underneath your feet, it's going to glow. And then if you can get it to actually spin and be red, then that means that you're sitting on top of the most rich um, vein that you can get. Now, um, so what you do is once it once it glows red, 
you're on a vein, okay, or you're close to a vein. And then what you do is you'll take your shovel. You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to prospect. Get your prospecting shovel out. And then what you'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll punch a hole. I'll just do it right here. There we go. And it'll tell you. It'll tell you right there. It says. Um, let me put this away. Okay, building durability 100, uh, 100 out of 100. Copper, iron, storage, it's barren. There is no copper here to speak of. Um, it, the, oh, well, I guess it only lasts for a second unless I, unless I actually uh, use a pick. Try again. It's dense for iron and it's barren for salt. So if I take a pick to this, I'm just going to raise a hole in the ground. And you need that mining pickaxe. It's the only thing it's good for. Go ahead and do this. And it'll, right where that dot was, oh, there, oh, there, oh, there. There are shafts nearby. Oh, we're only, okay. Well, I'm only allowed to punch one hole then, I guess. But if you look down here, you can see it says copper is barren, 0.23. Okay, iron is 0.97, salt is 0.28. Now, that does not mean, just because it says it's barren, does not mean you will not get something out of it. You will. It's going to be super slow. And we've proven that in the live streams uh, in the past. Um, you know, the uh, you, we will get some copper if we want to. Make this a copper mine. We can. You can only do one kind of a mine at a time. If um, if you, you were to put this on next to one of the salt, one of the salt nodes, you would get salt. You would get a lot of salt if you put it right next to the uh, the salt uh, villages. There's another salt village right there. You, you if you wanted to like you don't want to fight those guys. You don't want to mess with them. You're a single player. Put down one of these. Circle it in here. Make your camp right next to one of those villages and gather salt if that's what you what your thing is. Go ahead. That I mean that's pretty much how it's done. But um, you know, so what we're we're really happy about though is that we need iron no matter what. Now what I, in a 24 hour period or a 36 hour period we're we're able to pull almost a thousand iron. Does that mean that we uh that, that we have to? No. We can we not go over there to, to and mine that iron? Yeah, we sure can. Uh, that's why we have a weapon bench, because I want to make sure that I have plenty, if I can get in here, plenty of um, copper hammers. Because if we get a wild hair and we decide we want to go mine uh, copper, we can. Let me just jump out of here right quick, if I can get jump up and over. Oh, no, it won't let me. I took damage. Ow, that freaking hurt, yo. It's fine. So uh, hopefully I don't have a bear. There is a bear that spawns right down there, as well as a panther. It's the spawn point. It's I mean, so it's not, it's not both at the same time. It's one spawn point, and I think it rotates between pigs, bear, and panther. But if we go down here, we can take those copper, uh, those copper hammers, and if we want extra, we can just go and and we have to fight our way in, right? That's not a big deal. And then we can we can just mine all this all this iron right here. Now these guys right here are kind of uh, kind of douches, to be honest. They're not nice people. They were um, uh, another of our our um, our allies, the Mist Folk, were mining here, and these guys came out and kited the bosses and all the all those guys over to them where they were mining. So I'm going to give you their name. So if you come across them, you know to just you know I don't know I don't want to say harass them. Don't harass them. But you know what? Be aware of them. It's the Brotherhood. Jordan Stone is the personal owner. So, Jordan, we see you. We know who you are. There you go. You got a shout-out in one of my videos. That's great. Congratulations. You are infamous. So, anyway, guys, just you know, give credit where credit's due, right? All right, anyway. So, guys, that's the, the iron mine that we've got. We're really super happy with it. Now, compared to the mine shaft that you can actually get from the, the guild side of things. See, that's a personal thing, right? That mine shaft is a personal thing. The guild side of things with the uh, guild tech, the, uh, the strongholds, where you have the minefield, the granary, the quarry, the lumber yard. Uh, those, those are a whole different story, right? We found those are more difficult to keep a handle on. Because you're not able to put flags down close to them, you're not, and, and we don't think you can put down the uh, the markers close to them either. I'm gonna go. We're gonna do a granary uh, video here, uh, not too long. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up as soon as I can, so we can give you our impressions of the granary, uh, whether or not they're worth it, uh, versus uh, you know your crop plots and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna do that in a little bit. But right now, guys, this is our this is our iron mine setup. Thought you'd like to see it. It's nice and simple, nice and cheap, nice and easy. Uh, now that I saw that uh, it's not allowing me to punch a hole, a second hole, 
I'm going to have to go see if my other guildies can punch a hole and put a mine shaft in this box as well. But always, uh, uh, always remember to put a, um, a secondary um, gate so you have an in and out because if you have a spawn like we do, I don't have another gate here. I'm going to go get one. Um, I would have to dodge bears and I'd go up and over that, that ridge and come down and go in, the, go in here when I could have just gone in the other side. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I have to fix that. But anyway, guys, this is our little uh, baby mine setup. Hopefully this helped you out and gave you an idea and maybe something you could build on the side of a hill so you don't have to fight those, uh, those, uh, those NPCs if you don't want to. Obviously, they have their advantages to fight them, you know, but some people don't care to do that. So I'm giving you another option. That's the whole point behind this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.